Miami Heat, Boston Celtics, Game 5. What, what can I say? It went exactly how I expected. Boston Celtics win 110 to 97. Um, back to back games, Jimmy Butler hasn't showed up. 14 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. It's not going to do it, Jimmy. I think y'all too cocky. The rest of the, the other guy got um, Gabe Vincent hurt his ankle. He didn't play. They did this versus the Knicks. Made him pay. Jalen Brown, 21 points. Got it done. Jason Tatum, 21 points. But the key was his 11 assists, 8 rebounds. It was it was a full team effort. Again, Al Horford, 5 assists. Jalen Brown got his two. Marcus Smart got his two. I mean, I think they're they're playing the same way on offense. The difference is Jason Tatum ain't forcing the shots like he was doing before. Now he's passing the ball. I don't even know if he had another double-digit assist game during these playoffs. But he had one tonight. Um, everybody, everybody got a part of it. Derek White, 24 points. Marcus Smart, 21 points. They didn't play that many people that many minutes. They kind of stuck with a five. Or they stuck with seven. Because Grant, Grant got a good amount. And the Heat, like I said, the Heat is a little bit too cocky. I remember when they was playing the Knicks. And Jimmy Butler had like a little ankle sprain. He could have played the next game, but he didn't play he was on the bench just smiling. And if I'm not mistaken, the Knicks won that. But then Miami beat them eventually. I don't think Boston is the same team, though. You can't do that against Boston. That's disrespect to Boston. So Boston going to make them pay. And as expected. Because, I mean, they, they're, they're the better team. It was more of Boston losing than Miami winning. Those first three games. They usually play defense. They usually play team ball. But Jason Tatum sometimes. He, he, he suffers from what a lot of young talents. Suffer from when they get to the playoffs. They feel like they got to be the superstar scorer. That's the problem. You don't got to be the superstar scorer. You just have to be the superstar. Make sure your men are in the right position. As long as that's happening you good. Pass the ball. You get double, pass the ball. You don't got to go through. You don't got to go around one. You don't got to force shots up. That be the problem. That's why That's why Donovan Mitchell has never made it far. Because they get caught up. Same situation. But I see it. But, but it's good because Jason Tatum, I don't know what happened. But he finally turned the corner. Took forever, but he finally turned the corner. Now he's passing the ball. So next game is game six, and they're going to Miami. I'm a, I think the same thing is going to happen. As long as their defense is rolling, they, they got no chance of losing. As long as Jason Tatum is passing the ball, they got no chance of losing. I don't know if Miami is confident or not. I do know that Jimmy Butler for the first three games is not the Jimmy Butler for the last two. They got to figure that out. I don't know what Miami going to do. Um, also, Bam had a better game than last game. I can say that. I'll give it to him. I can say that. He had a better game than last game scoreboard-wise. 16 points, 8 rebounds. He's not getting that much assists, but they are moving around. I'll, I'll say that. And still, I don't think this is Boston Celtics series to lose. They got to decide. Do they want to win? Do they want to lose? Um, Even though they're going back to Miami, I still see them winning. And I don't see them winning by a little bit. I see them winning by a good amount. They are beyond better than them. So, I'm not surprised. Like I said, good win Boston Celtics.